Hey guys and welcome back to our how to create series and today's topic is tabs so I think you already know what tabs are we have these three buttons and if we click any one of the tabs the relevant or the associated information is displayed the information does not have to be the text only you can choose to keep images or icons or a combination of text and images that is just totally dependent upon you I am just simply using text for illustration purpose but you can style it you can design it you can keep anything in you want let's start with the coding I am going to use sublime text you can choose any text editor of your choice so open the text editor and write HTML and you can notice that the color of the tag is not changing so we can start by first saving the file as an HTML document so that the text editor uh, recognizes all the tabs that we are going to write in the file choose an appropriate location then write the name and use dot HTML extension this is important then save it and you can see that the color of the tag has changed then write HTML and hit enter and all of these statements will be filled in automatically by the text editor then add language attribute to the HTML tag then quickly write the title write anything that you want then write meta tag and then write one more meta tag for the proper rendering and touch zooming in mobile phones as well as other touch screen devices write meta space name viewport then content as width equals device hyphen width Then initial hyphen scale equals 1 then create a style tag and all of the CSS statements that we are going to use to style our tabs will be there inside this style tag and we will come to that later now get in the body tag and start with the comment so we are going to create the tab links first or the tab buttons first create a div tag and write class equals tab then drop down and create a button tag write class equals tab links then space on click open city open bracket event comma within single inverted comma right Hyderabad then close the bracket then write Hyderabad as the value and we are going to define this open city function in the JavaScript later in this video so that when this button is clicked the text or the information which is related to this tab is displayed then let me just quickly copy this button and we can paste it twice so that we can create three buttons and change the Hyderabad in the second button to Mumbai then the value to Mumbai and the third one to Lucknow and you can choose to use any text or any example that you want so I'm choosing randomly some names of the capital cities of some of the states of India then drop down and write a comment add contents to tabs and now we are going to add all the contents for these three tabs create a div tag write class equals tab content and ID as Hyderabad then create a h3 tag this is the heading tag write Hyderabad then create a p tag and within this p tag we are going to write the text let me just copy the text from the page
and paste let me add one more p tag and close the p tag here so that these two statements are in different paragraph this is just to make it look better save it and now let's open the file in the browser so that we can see the progress side by side and you can see that we have three buttons now and we have this content of Hyderabad tag ok now let's get back to our coding and copy this entire div element and paste it twice so that we have contents for three tabs change the content of the second tab to Lucknow then Lucknow is the capital of Uttar Pradesh then the third one from Hyderabad to Mumbai and Mumbai is the capital of Maharashtra ok then save it and refresh in the browser and we have the contents as well as the heading of all the three tabs now let's style them start with the comment write dot tab then overflow as hidden then border as one pixels space solid space hash 8f b7 a5 and background hyphen color as hash 8f b7 a5 and save it refresh and you can see that the background color of the tab has changed now let's style the buttons write dot tab space button because the button tag is inside the div element which has this tab class so we need to write the name of the class then space and then the tag name then background hyphen color as inherit so this will take the color of the tab which is a shade of green color then write float as left this will left align the buttons then border as none then outline as none because we don't want the outlines to be there when we hover over the buttons then cursor pointer you can see the mouse cursor on the buttons now refresh and now you can see the cursor changing to a pointer then write padding as 12 pixels top bottom and 16 pixels left right then transition as 0 0.3 seconds this is for hovering effect then color as white this will change the font color refresh and you can see the change then now let's increase the font size right font 600 space 16 pixels space lato comma sans hyphen serif 600 is the font weight then 16 pixel is the font size sans serif and this lato is the font family save it and refresh and now our tabs are starting to look 
much like the one that we have in our example. Now let's change the color of the buttons when we hover over them. Right, dot tab space button colon hover then background hyphen color hash 61977e this is the code for that dark green color refresh it and you can see that now let's change the color of the active button active button is the one uh, which has been clicked on then write dot tab space button dot active there is no space between button and dot active light background hyphen color as hash 426756 then let's style the tab contents Right dot tab content because this is the class that we have used in the div element for defining the tab contents. Right display as none because by default we want all of the tabs to be hidden and we will display only that tab which is clicked upon. So the logic is that we want all the tabs to be hidden by default and we want only that tab to be displayed which is clicked upon and we will do this using javascript by changing this display property we will change the display property of the corresponding tab which is clicked upon from none to block and that tab will be displayed and the rest of the tabs will still be hidden then write padding as 6 pixels space 12 pixels then border as 1 pixels space solid space hash 426756 then border hyphen top as none because we don't want any border on the top of the tab content so that it looks connected to the button you can refresh and see that the tab contents are hidden now let's move to the third part of this video that is the javascript get in the body tag again and create a script tag let me just quickly add a comment here write function space open city this is the same function that we have used in on click attribute with our buttons open bracket write evt comma city name so whenever any of the button is clicked this function will be invoked then let's declare all of the variables first write variable i comma tab content comma tab links then let's get all of the elements which have this class tab content and hide them. Write tab content equals document dot get elements by class open bracket double inverted commas tab content so this will get all of the elements which have this class tab content right for open bracket i equals 0 semicolon i is less than tab content dot length semicolon i plus plus then open curly braces tab content within square brackets i dot style dot display equals within double inverted commas none and semicolon 
so this for loop is going to make the display property of all the tab contents which have this tab content class to change to none so that they are hidden then let's remove the class active from all of the elements which have this class tab links because we want only one tab link to have this active class and not all of them just as we wanted only one tab content to have that display property as block and all of them should be hidden so write tab links equal document dot get elements by class name open bracket within double inverted commas write tab links close bracket and semicolon this will get all of the elements which have this tab links class now let's remove the class active from them create a for loop write for open bracket i equals 0 semicolon i is less than tab links dot length semicolon i plus plus close bracket and open curly braces then tab links within square braces i dot class name equals tab links square brackets i dot class name dot replace open bracket within double inverted commas space active then comma just double inverted commas nothing inside them so it will replace space active class or this space active text by empty string or in other word it will remove the active class from all of the tab links now let's show the current tab only by adding an active class and changing the display property to block like document dot get elements by id open bracket like city name dot style dot display equals within double inverted commas block then evt dot current target dot class name plus equals within double inverted commas space active so in short what we have done using the above two for loops is that the first for loop is going to change the display property of all the tab contents to none so that all of the tabs are hidden then the second for loop is going to remove this active class from all of the tab links so that none of them appear as active and then the third part of this function is going to just open that tab which is clicked upon by changing the display property of that tab to block so that it gets displayed and then adding an active class to the tab link of the corresponding tab so that it appears as the active tab you can all let's save this refresh in the browser then click on any of the tab and you can see that we have the corresponding contents displayed so this completes this video and i'm going to see you in the next one till then thanks for watching